again and welcome to Rasa the Dancer YouTube channel and I'm sure you can guess it because I'm surrounded by shoes this video is gonna be about shoes and if you've been watching my channel and you've seen some videos before you know that I love the shoes and how convenient is that a lot of the ladies been asking me a lot um, to make a video about shoes dancing shoes in particular what kind of shoes should they wear what shouldn't they wear what do i wear and a lot of women come up to me and ask me oh what are these shoes they're amazing so this video is going to be about the shoes but it's not going to be my top five tips like i usually do i'm just going to give a couple of pointers and i'm just going to explain the shoes that i wear um, I don't like recommending shoes to people because it depends on your foot. Um, whatever fits for me and seems comfortable does not mean that the same shoe will feel just as comfortable for you. I can vouch for the quality of the shoe or the company, but I can never say that that is the most comfortable shoe, if that makes any sense. But what I can do is to show you my tricks, my favorite shoes, and tell you what I definitely know that doesn't work. So stick around and the shoe heaven is about to happen. Okay, one of the more surprising things that you will hear is this. Most of the time, I do not wear professional dance shoes because no matter how great they are, my feet are always in pain. I batter my feet, you know, I dance barefoot a lot. I do uh, a lot of um, different kind of sports and stuff. And, and the dancing is as well, the amount of hours I spend on dancing is insane. Um, so no matter how comfortable the dancing shoe is, at some point I get in pain and I am just sick of it. And I have decided not to sacrifice myself any longer unless is, is some special occasion and I'm wearing a particularly nice dress where that kind of shoe would be more suitable. Um, but the reason I allow myself not to wear dance shoes anymore is because I found a perfect solution. I found kind of shoes that I can dance with and spin more than anybody else. So perfect shoe for spinning as well. And it's extremely comfortable, but it is not a dancing shoe. I elaborate. If I'm teaching every night, you will probably see me in something like this or workshops, congresses, or a late night when I need to change shoes and um, cause I can't wear anything else. This is the pair that I would use. And what it is, is a sneaker. Don't know what the, I should do this closer. <sighs> look, they all look a little bit battered only because I actually wear them. I'm actually showing you the shoes that I wear. So the reason I love this shoe is because even though it's a sneaker, it's a fancy one. It has a little, little uh, flowers on it. And um, the pattern itself is um, see-through and it is a sneaker so it's like extremely comfortable it's phenomenal it has a tiny tiny little platform but the reason this is an amazing shoe to dance with because of the sole the sole is not actually rubber like uh, the running shoes you know in order not to slip it's the opposite it's actually slightly plasticky and what that means that on the floor is super slippery but I am wearing a sneaker. So it's extremely comfortable as well. And people think that a sneaker is a sports shoe. These days, a lot of different kinds of companies, they make sneakers for fancy wear. Like this one, you can easily wear this with a dress as well. So you end up mixing the styles between uh, fancy and uh, easygoing. It's extremely stylish these days to wear sneakers, fancy sneakers with a dress as well. So when I do my workshops, classes, or like an evening, late evening when I need to change the shoes, this is what I wear. This is my 
saving grace beautiful shoe extremely comfortable never get tired and i can spin in this so my advice number one for you is not to focus on dance shoes and dance sneakers because most of them let's be honest are not that pretty if a company will be watching this video that has extremely beautiful sneaker shoes that is based for dancing send them to me i'll test them and i will report and if they're actually that good i will let you know but in the meantime don't worry about it just get the sneakers that you're comfortable with with plasticky uh, sole rather than rubber and you will be flying okay so we're still on the subject of dancing shoes that are not actually dancing shoes they are normal shoes that you can dance in almost dead this shoe and um, it's <laughs> been worn everywhere i've danced with them in new york i've danced with them in miami i mean they are just dying they leather shoes but they have uh, little holes, they breathe really well, and they have the same thing when it comes to the soles. I'm not gonna even touch them because they are like really battered. Uh, but they also have that surfery, uh, slippery surface situation. And the good thing is as well, you see how soft they are? So they're bending, so you're not actually in a stiff shoe. But the reason also these are amazing uh, because also they look like jazz shoes. You know how dancing shoes, um, like a, a flat jazz shoe, a lot of the teachers wear? Well, this is kind of similar, you know, but it isn't. Uh, it's much more stable, it's much more comfortable, and it looks fancy. And again, I can wear this with the dress, with jeans, with tights with whatever I want and also it's slightly a summery look so if it gets a little bit too warm to be in a sneaker and you don't want to wear socks or anything this you don't need any socks you don't get any blisters from them they are absolutely amazing so it doesn't have to always be sneakers you can actually have a shoe that you don't need to wear socks with and be really really comfortable all night dancing in and look how beautiful besides the fact that they are dying okay take that out of the equation because i dance with them you know i speak from the heart <laughs> but look how beautiful they are they have a really sophisticated look about it mixed patterns goes with anything has a little bit of silver and it's actually a leather shoe they were expensive shoes. They were not like a cheap shoe. Um, so I really felt always so nice wearing them anytime I dance. And these were and still are my favorite pair. But it, it comes to a moment where I'm now a little bit embarrassed to wear them because they just look like I have no other shoes. But you know, when you have a pair that you like so much, that you just can't get rid of no matter what. Well this is the pair so that's my tip for you do not focus only on sneakers you could find an amazing shoe just that fits you that doesn't require a sock and it looks fancy and it will go with the dress or the jean all you need to do in a shop when you're trying that shoe is whether you can spin if you can spin and it bends it's not like a stiff shoe you're good to go I promise you, you will appreciate this so much more than a dancing shoe. I'm not sure whether you're ready for this, but drum roll! These are my babies. These are wonderful. Now, this shoe is not for everybody. No matter how comfortable the shoes are, not every woman can dance in this kind of heel full stop, not even talking about dancing all night in this. Um, so this isn't for everybody, but what I want to explain 
again, this is not a professional dance shoe. This is a normal shoe that I bought from a shop that I can spin in like there's no tomorrow. The heel is insane, but funny enough, it's much easier for me to dance on this heel than it is on a shorter one because um, I am faster, I am able to execute things quicker, my landing is more stable, but that's just me. And now, the wonderful thing about this shoe is the sock situation and what it does when it wraps around my leg it actually secures my foot so well there's no flimsiness my leg is not moving in the shoe once it's in the shoe it forever stays in the shoe until i rip it off and actually this shoe i can even say is from aldo i got it from an aldo shop oh i think we have a guest you might see a cat in a second um, so this shoe is phenomenal. Have a look. Right. You see the sock and the pattern is all really soft. No blisters again. It's not leather. It's all like soft, rubbery kind of material. Um, but it's so secure and so comfortable. So if you are kind of woman that would go for the heel and no matter how beautiful the, the smaller heel or the sneaker situation shoe is you actually prefer dancing in a heel you can still find a shoe that is not a dancing shoe and you can find some gorgeous shoes to you know wow everybody um as long as you can actually walk in them and dance in them to be honest you don't have to walk in them like i actually think i dance in heels better than i walk <laughs> right um anyway this is from aldo and they're gorgeous and they are at the moment one of my favorite shoes i danced in them in irish dublin congress three nights in a row non-stop and no problems whatsoever i was a queen i felt good and i didn't think twice about wearing dancing shoes these were my dancing shoes so you can have heels as well but of course you have to be a heel kind of gal. Okay, so I did have to show you at least one pair of actual dancing shoes. And the reason I'm saying one pair, because I only got one pair that I don't need to change by the end of the night. You know, sometimes you have shoes that are really comfortable, but then in the middle of the night, you still get the pain and you still end up wearing sneakers. So it bothers me. It annoys me the fact that this happens and, and I would rather than wear something like this that is not a dancing shoe and I know I'm not going to be in pain and it's going to last me all night. But I do have, I do have one pair that is that pair that never causes me any trouble whatsoever and it's from Bespoke and the shoe is called Shizzle. Now, this shoe is absolutely fantastic. Um, I had other shoe from Bespoke and it's not the same. And that just proves my point that I said to you before that sometimes it's not the company or the quality. Sometimes it's just your foot. Your foot needs to find your shoe. Um, love the color. Usually I don't go for bright colors because it doesn't always go with what I want to wear. Uh, but this color, even though it's bright, it's, it's not in your face bright, so it does go with everything. And the reason I believe it fits my foot so perfectly and I'm never in pain because there's not a lot of straps. I find in dancing shoes, the more straps there are, the more uncomfortable I will be later on in the night. The straps dig into your foot as soon as it swells. And at some point, you will feel discomfort. And there is only one big strap here, but it's secure because it's perfectly matched my foot. And there's one strap here. You can loosen it up as the night goes along. The heel is tiny. The shoe is light and comfortable. And it's just a perfect shoe. So if I would give any advice about dancing shoes, please try to avoid the straps. Um, if you dance as much as me. Some people don't dance the whole night the way I do. I like to dance every single song for as much as I can from the beginning of the night till the end. I just love dancing so much. Um, so straps, no way, Jose. This, 
It looks beautiful, simple, but effective. But most importantly, I know I can last all night and dance my soul away. So there you go. From Bespoke, these ones. The last shoe I'm going to show you um, is going to be a perfect example of beautiful, um, but <laughs> not the best choice. So I got these shoes in a um, Miami Aventura Cruise and they are spectacular. They are extremely comfortable when you put them on and look how shiny they are. Can you see? Stunning shoes, st absolutely stunning. The heel is perfect, it's just wonderful. And I got them and I was performing in them, so I wasn't wearing them in the social nights because they are one of the kind shoe, um, but I was using them for my performance. Once the performance finished, I thought, well, this is the time when I take these babies onto the dance floor and big mistake. I can't dance with them. There's few times when I put them on to walk into the night because they were that spectacular, everybody's eyes turn. And then I change into these. Can you imagine? <sighs> Annoying but true. So this is a perfect example. Um, there's a little strap here. Always hurts my toe. In the beginning, never. Half an hour later, starts digging in and it's extremely uncomfortable. The other thing, they did this thing that is supposed to help you. A lot of dancing shoes do that, be aware. They have an extra cushion. The extra cushion goes more in the middle rather than the whole thing itself. And what does it do? It imprints into your sole, your foot and causes pain. So the cushion is actually the problem itself. Um, so you have the straps, which is a no-no. You have the extra cushion that is not laid through the whole shoe, which is a problem. And in the end of the day, um, you get a lot of pain and it's a disaster and it's a beautiful shoe. So if you're doing a show, get the shoe. And then after, forget it, forget that you have it. That is the story about this shoe. Well, I guess that's it. And I'm sure in other videos, I will see you again talking more about the shoes. But I guess what I wanted you to take out out of this video in particular, do not focus all your attention on dancing shoes. Look at the selection here. These are not dancing shoes and these are absolute gorgeous shoes that I can dance with better than some of these shoes. Um, so make sure you find the shoe that best fits you. You try and spin in it, and if it works, don't worry about it. We are in the same boat. Use what's comfortable for you, and you actually will have so much more choice in comfort and different styles of looks and what you can wear. And you can notice now as well in some videos with some professional teachers dancing, a lot of them wearing sneakers, it's kind of trendy these days. And they're not wearing dance sneakers, most of them. They're wearing something like I've explained to you. And if you are wearing dance shoes, make sure you avoid the straps. If you have problematic feet, uh, make sure that you um, walk around in these shoes a little bit. Don't just go by the looks. Um, try to make sure that your do toes don't come out of the shoe. Usually it's the right size, but the toes slightly slide forward. It's a disaster. It has to be a perfect match. And if it is not, just don't buy it. A lot of the women get weak in the knees when they sh see shoes like this. I am one of those women, but now through time and experience, I say enough is enough. And I get shoes that are just as beautiful, but fit me perfectly. And if I don't find a shoe like that, I just don't buy it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I hope you learned something from it. And I hope you got inspired to get the shoes that you need and that you will be a better dancer in. You know, they say, um, I dance bad because of my shoes and we use it as an excuse for bad dancing? Well, sometimes it is the shoe, okay? 
<laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to see more videos, you know what to do. You have to subscribe. And in order to get notified about new videos, you do have to ring the bell. Also, leave comments. This video happened because a lot of you left comments about wanting videos about shoes. So if you have any other videos you would like to see, leave a comment. I read them and I provide. Thank you guys. I see you soon.